family and I were worried sick. It's, it's a very agonizing and heart-wrenching experience. That was nearly five months ago. The brother of 24-year-old Esmeralda Gonzalez waiting for his sister to return home. But now prosecutors say that may never happen. Investigators determining her disappearance may have taken a very dark twist. At least one person has been arrested, including Christopher Prestepino, accused of kidnapping and murdering her. Metro Police say Gonzalez was left tied up to a bedpost inside Prestepino's home here in the southwest. Later, she was killed after being injected with pool cleaner by the suspect. Police believe Prestepino then rented a U-Haul, dumping her body in the desert. And get this, according to homicide detectives, the suspect and the victim essentially lived on the same exact street. This is where Prespatino's home is just beyond this fence here. That's where Gonzalez lived, literally the two homes in eyesight of each other. Newly obtained court documents painting a narrative of how it all went down, beginning with Gonzalez's brother reporting her missing on May 31st after trying to check on her, finding her home a mess inside. She was last seen the day before, first at a nearby car dealership, then on home surveillance cameras in that area that showed the victim was dressed only in lingerie and high heels. Esmeralda was unsteady and appeared disoriented. Investigators also uncovering emails with specific details regarding Gonzalez's killing. Prestepino told a woman who has identified as Trisha Pitt, a family friend, that he got Gonzalez high on methamphetamine and said she began acting bizarre. She threatened to call the cops and that's when things escalated. Investigators believe he then strangled and killed her. Prestepino was also seen on a security camera at a Home Depot in the Southwest on June 6th, purchasing five 60 pound bags of concrete mix. Police say he put her body into a freezer and then placed it in concrete before getting rid of the body south of Las Vegas. Police also interviewed a suspected accomplice, Cassandra Garrett, who was defensive, argumentative,